All right, Halloween can be so Ooh, much fun, right? Yeah. You can eat spiders, really, or yeah. other scary looking treats. We can eat bones. Oh, yeah, we have them here, actually. Our, our favorite teacher in the Miami Valley and Chef awesome. Rachel Blanks uh, joins us in the kitchen with some edible Halloween crafts. Yeah. Rachel, thanks so much for coming back. Thank you. You, you always bring your A game. I love And you have here. this morning, I can tell you that. Yes, there's and a I lot have of cool things kick. here. Let's go. Well, you know. As a teacher, kids are always saying, I get hurt, I need a Band-Aid. Well, it's Halloween. Let's give them a fun Band-Aid. So that's what you're going to put together here. We're going to just start with the cra a graham Band-Aids cracker. with, bl with blood bloody Band-Aids, yeah, so we should say. Yes, I'm going to give them a right. bloody Band-Aid, right. All right, a little bit of, this is a like regular of, it's icing. It's just regular um, canned icing you get in the cake aisle. And just try to put it in the center and square, a rectangle, however you want. Yeah, and then so this, is this, this is our blood. A little bit of this is the blood, right? This is a little jello okay. and food coloring, and we just kind of like sit that. it there. And when you the wanted to set up a, a display for the kids, box of Band-Aids. Um, also, we have here some of our edible bones. They're kind of cute. They, I think they, they like They look bones. exactly like little. And they start off just with a pretzel stick, mm -hmm. two marshmallows. That is cool. Dip it in chocolate. Maybe we'll have you taste it later, see if it tastes, like, well, I hope it doesn't taste like a bone. We don't want you to know that you've tasted a bone. But... I think it looks almost like one. It does, exactly. Like, then, like little little chicken bones. Just little bitty you know. chicken bones. The kids right. loved it. And then if there's some person that just wants to be healthy, I don't know who likes to be healthy on Halloween, <laughs> Halloween yeah. but if you just want to be healthy, these are some vampires. shouldn't be allowed, right? Right. <laughs> right. You go ahead and make one. And this is just right. you, an apple. You took a little wedge of an apple. An apple, and we cut a little space where the, um, where the peel was. In the shape of a mouth. Yeah. And with peanut butter, and if you have a child that Throw, you know that might be allergic to peanut butter, of course, you know you throw can, some peanut butter. Yeah, in you can there. even use the icing or something, and we'll just take some nuts. Pistachios work really well because, like you said, they're green, and these are pecans, and we'll just make little. Little teeth with them. I mean, there's so many things Little that you teeth. can do. Yeah, just have fun. You can actually throw some M&Ms in there, some, yeah, you some yellow teeth. Yellow teeth. You know, yeah. for those that don't brush. Oh, we hope yellow, not after Halloween candy, teeth. please. Yeah. Right. We don't know what yeah. teeth might look like after Halloween. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I like the Band-Aids. And then, you know, we just have a little ghoulish. Then we have Good over idea. here um, our version of a puppy chow. My students, you know, we had leftover chips and pretzels and leftover chocolate. Just mix it all together. <laughs> um, and so for them, it was fun. So for me, it's just all about the kids having fun. So they thought that was great. I love it. They like, like it. A, I love like it. Like a big old mess right it there. It does, I don't but know. it tastes really good because it has white chocolate on it. So I'm sold. All I'm right. It, it, Halloween's your favorite time of year, is it? Um, one of them. One of I them. think Thanksgiving, okay. just because I like to cook. And okay. I can make a huge spread for Thanksgiving. You just set up your next segment then. Awesome. Let's do a full Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Chris might like Rachel, to Rachel, thanks. You know what he likes? He likes the puppy chow. So we're going to give. This looks more like roadkill or something. But we should have added some blood on there and just throw some in there and see what it does. Awesome. All right. Much more <laughs> on ABC22now.com. We'll have all these recipes. Great ideas, Rachel. Thank you. As always.